Hello my dear friends. Today I'm going to talk and I'm going to teach you how to draw the polygons. Different methods used to draw the polygons. And I will start today with the pentagon. Uh, so let's first take the dia of the circle. The dia of the circle is 80 mm and the radius of the circle is 40 mm and we will draw a circle first then we have to draw the two diameters vertically and horizontally they intersect at the center so now vertically so both of them are intersecting at center so let's name them A and B and C and D. Then we have to bisect this line that is O B. So I will take a compass and assume a center O and draw an arc. Now the center B with the same dimensions both arcs needs to be cut and these arcs needs to be joined here and this point needs to be joined with a very thin line these are all construction line remember my dear students so this is the midpoint let's name this as N now we have to take the N as the center and NC as the radius. We have to draw an arc. That arc is cutting the line, horizontal line. See this horizontal line at the point M. Remember, my dear students, now we will assume or we will take a dia CM. This is the radius, sorry. Radius CM is the radius. We will cut an arc and it cuts the main circle and to the other si side also. So it cuts the circle at two points. Now, at this point, we will keep the compass with the same dimensions, again cutting the arc. Now at this point, again cutting the circle with an arc. You can see now these points in the circle, on the circle. Now we need to join them together. Let's see how we can join them. First, we should join these two arcs with a dark line that is the base of our pentagon now joining this point and this point with a dark thick line yes now we will join this point with the C with again a dark line and this point with the again with C with a dark thick line and this is the last point which we need to connect so this way we got the pentagon let's name them this is our P Q this is our R and S and the top was C this is how we have completed the pentagon now let's go for one more pentagon we have a given side of the regular pentagon that is 40. So first of all what we have to do, we will draw the base of that pentagon which is 40. So I draw a line, that line is given which is A and B and length of the line is 40. Now let's take the compass, take A as the center and radius is 40 that is equal to AB draw a circle but again construction line my dear students very light circle we need to draw 
keeping the compass as the same now taking the center as b and the radius is ab again and drawing one more circle again a light circle you can see both the circles are intersecting here and this point we need to join them with a scale this point and this point needs to connect it with a light thin line and you can even produce that line so let's name this as T1, this point, and this point is T2. Now, we should again take the compass and same the radius. AB is the radius and T2 as now the center. Draw an arc, bigger arc that passes through A and B and intersects the previous circles at the two points and the bisector line which is B it also intersects and it also in intersects at this point let's take this as X and here it cuts at Y now what we need to do we need to join Y with P so Let's join these two points and again we can extend this line. We can extend P and Y line with up to the circle. So it cuts circle here at this point. Similarly, we will join X and P again with a light construction line and extend that line up to the rim of the circle it cuts that circle here okay now this point and this point needs to connect it so a with that point needs to be connected with a dark line and b with that point with a dark line now Take the compass and it, this is A, B, C and this must be E because the midpoint will be the D. Now take the compass, measure A, E and keep the compass at C, cut an arc. Now the compass will go to the point E and cut an arc. Now join these points, this point with C and E. So let's call this point D. Now we'll connect C with D with a dark line, dark and thick line and E with D again with dark and thick line my dear students. This is how we have completed the construction whose pentagons one side was 40 mm given now we'll I'll teach you one more construction one more method again the side of the pentagon is 40 that is given first we will draw its base base of the pentagon this is the third one I am teaching you let's name this base a B now for the pentagon angle subtended at the center of the isosceles triangle is 360 degree and pentagon has five sides so we divided that by five it comes out 72 degree hence base angle is 180 minus 72 by 2 which is 54 now the two angles which we have to take at a and at b so keep the protector at a and measure 54 degrees and draw a point there similarly now keep the protector at point b again measure 54 degree Now we can join A with that point, 
draw a very light and thin line as a construction line as, as I said B with that point so we got an isosceles triangle whose two sides are equal now both are both the lines intersect at this point let's call this point O now take OA as the radius OA as the radius draw the circle a light thin circle draw the circle now what we need to do take AB as the AB as the radius cut this circle now taking the A as the center cut again the circle now go on cutting the circle with the same so it will cut it here again now simply join these points together this with A this point with A with a thick dark line and this point with B with a dark thick line now this with this one my dear students if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and also press the bell icon of the channel so that you will get the beautiful videos which I am going to produce in coming days so this is how we have completed the regular pentagon and let's name these a b c d e so this is how we have completed the pentagon i hope you enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video please do share with your friends